the state title? It's unreal right now. Uh, it's uh, kind of, you know, you set a vision out for yourself, and it's a lifetime of, for my family to want to win a uh, state title. It's all we've ever done uh, throughout my from my adolescence up to now, and uh, you know, now it reached its destination. So it's kind of hadn't sunk in yet, but I'm sure on Christmas Day it'll, it'll be it'll be really good. Questions. Coach, just talk about the player defense. They had two of the top playmakers in the state coming in. You guys shut them down? Uh, yes. Uh, one, they're very good offensive players, and we uh, we have a lot of respect for them. Uh, they go against the best offensive players every day in practice, and uh, we feel like, uh, you know, we do a great job of uh, making sure that we beat them on a daily basis on the offensive side. Right, Jameson? Yeah, well, I think we, think we ended up the Wednesday practice with the championship on practice. But oh, they, the yeah, they debated, but uh, we go and we're a very competitive group. We're, uh, we get there angry, we, we play hard, and it's just an example of the competitive drive. Now, all these guys are just really competitive people and love football, so you know that's an easy mix, and we felt like we're, we were going to do a good job. Coach, what, what made you think Anna had this particular? You know, uh, like I said, my wife and I uh, got a call from my old AD, and uh, he said, hey, there's a school that I think you need to look at, and uh, it's called Anna. And uh, I've never heard of Anna before in my life. And uh, I said to my wife and two daughters, I said, uh, we're going to go look at this town, go look at this school. And uh, so uh, we came there, and... Uh, Everybody was in there. It seemed like they were hungry to win, and uh, I told them. I said, uh, I asked them. I said, y'all wanna, y'all wanna move? And uh, you know, it's something that they've never had to do, being from the Panhandle of Texas, and uh, and for them to, you know, be on the same page with the dream uh, tells you how I'm married and how my kids are. And uh, so, to answer your question, we had no idea, but the day I laid eyes on them and said, let's go to work. That's when I knew we had a chance to win, and I met the people in Anna, and they were they were a, a very competitive group, and uh, we're just excited to be in the community that loves winning. Coach, what were you saying to your team during that last time out? Uh, you know, well, we were trying to get everybody on the field, and uh, and defense didn't want. They're mostly seniors. Nobody wanted to come off, but I had <laughs> one more that I had to get on. And, Coach Ramos wanted to shut out, and I said, they got to go a long way. You know, so we got to get somebody in. And, uh, so we had a good little argument. It couldn't have ended any better for me and him fighting at the last two minutes. I hope everybody got that on film. But, uh, but we were just trying to get everybody in, and the reason the defense is so competitive is because of him and his competitive drive. So whatever he tries to do, he tries to win. So if it's from track and field to uh, – you know, Christmas parties to poker. He thinks he's good at poker. He's not. That's the way Coach Ron will see this. He tries to win. Coach, could you get your thoughts on two MVPs today, CJ and Edward, what they've been to the team? You know, I think they're all MVPs in my opinion. I think uh, we're a collective group, but those two uh, just tough as nails. I, I think, you know, when I say that, uh, you know, we're all MVPs because they're uh, – their uh, tenacity and their instinct and their willingness to do what it takes to win, that's throughout our whole program as far as uh, guys. So, you know, they're leaders because they show it and they're the example. And uh, both of them are just tough as nails. Oh, winners too, if you want me to describe them, they're winners. Is it a question for Coach 